Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny and Erin. So I said to Erin, do you want to do a nice little <laughs> vocal performance? And she got quite excited because she immediately knew what I was referring to. I said, it's sung within it and you said yes. And then I just went, yeah. So uh, I have seen this because... As much as we try and avoid spoilers, I saw a clip of this on TikTok and I have been wanting to hear some real good extended Sungmin vocals. And I saw this clip and I was like, I need to know what that is. I need to see it. So I watched it. And I have watched it many, 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 many times since. And you've teased me with it I have. so many times. So I thought, you should watch it. So of course, as you already know, because you clicked on it, it is uh, the performance from Kingdom of now they were called mayfly when they separated the groups and then so they were called they were team mayfly and then they split them into a dance one a rap one and a vocal one so this was the vocal one is he why are you licking me (laughs) (laughs) um so it's sung min obviously from stray kids jong ho from 80s i was just saying did you know i know he was in this (laughs) And I'm not sure how to say his name. It's like I was just looking it up whilst you were doing your lipstick. It's like Ng Quang, something like that from B to B. You love a bit of B to B as well, don't you? <laughs> I know it's so rogue, but that I think is my favourite K-pop song. Yeah, Blue Moon. <laughs> Blue Moon. I know, like all the other songs. That one. Yeah. I live for it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's in this as well. Now, there's two versions. We'll watch both. So there's the the full vocal version that we'll watch, which is them performing it. And then the second version is them performing it, but it cuts away to show you the other idols' reactions to it. Oh. So I think that's fun. I've seen both. <laughs> Many times. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm. And one thing I will say about this, I have never watched it and not had goosebumps <laughs> yeah oh and they are singing a song I don't care what they're singing I can't remember what it's called maybe love song but it's an IU song oh they're doing this is just like <laughs> <laughs> you're just like and this and yeah. this and, and you're this, just like it's just getting this. better yeah I I'm so excited to hear Sungmin because you know I'm, I'm yeah. always going on with vocals. Jong Ho was literally just saying to yeah. you this evening <laughs> about them, and well, I loved all the vocals I heard in B to B. Yeah. So I'm excited to actually see who it is. From them and... <laughs> okay. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. In the comments, there were three performances by Mayfly. What was your favourite? Rap, vocal, or dance? It's very moody, sir.
doing some inside the Christmas Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I love how they turn you get the different pairs. Yeah. Isn't it just amazing and beautiful and everything? Oh my god, it's so emotive. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think you'd cry. <laughs> no, but like, I'm not sad. Yeah. I'm just, I'm awestruck that, like, this, the sounds that they can create yeah. and, and the feeling they can create. Yeah, and how they're, it's like they're playing an instrument. And like you can you can see them do it and I've sorry I've forgotten his name, the guy from B to B. You can hear him you can see him changing notes by his facial expression. Yeah. I find that so interesting. And the way he moves the mic around for yeah. different Sugarman did it as well. Yeah. Towards the end. Um and I think when we listen to both like Stray Kids and Eighties you can pick out yeah. Sigmund and you can yeah. pick out John Cody. Like you can there's something in their voices. Something distinctive. And all the people on those shows are fantastic yeah. singers and performance performers. But I, I've I can't if you ask me to pinpoint it, I can't. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. I just gasp every time I hear. Yeah. Okay, I feel like in that, <coughs> I think it's Yun Kwang. I'm, I'm not sure on pronunciation, but you can tell he's older and more experienced because he does kind of control. Do you know what I mean? Yes. He has an authority about him that tells you he's. But also, I think his his vocal style. Yeah. He he's going quite high pitched, and 
he's balancing very nicely. Yeah. With of those, where I do think like Sogman and Jungho there, they don't have the same vocals, but I feel like they could probably do slightly similar things. Although actually, mm. Jungho's got a different kind of belt. Yeah. On him, but yeah, there is definitely something a bit different. And I feel like he is a very emotive singer in like his face. And I could absolutely see him in musical theatre. Yeah, or at the opera. Yeah. Like, that's so operatic. Because, because of the, the, I want to say baubles, but I don't know if that's right, but the, the tones that you make, yeah. you have to move your mouth and your face to create a, yeah. those shapes of those notes out. And, wow. And then, of course, Jong Ho. We know he hits those power notes. He does, but I it always shocks me. I hear it and I know it's him. And I look around <laughs> and I'm like, who's making that sound? I'm like, I... It feels like you're in a bar and you've pulled some random person up for karaoke yeah. that's just been skulking in the corner. And then literally this like angelic voice and you're like so shocked I don't know why but I always maybe because he's you know like pint signs I think what it is with Jong Ho is he's smaller he always wears fluffy stuff and then it's just this power that comes out it's, and it's like what it's unexpected yeah. and I don't think I will ever be Prepared, And because he seems to be quite quiet and unassuming. Do you know what I mean? He's not going to be the person who walks into a room and is like, all eyes on me, people. I can sing. So when it comes to you, it's like, what? You, you've you been hiding that. It, like, <laughs> it, it bursts yeah. from him, but in such a good way. And the length of the notes that he yeah. hits as well are just... Does he have gills? Like, is he breathing from somewhere else? Like... What I also found really nice in this, though, is that we hear him a lot in 80s with the power notes. But in this, we also got to hear a nice section of him just singing nice parts yeah. before he gets to that. Which he doesn't always get to do in 80s. Obviously, line distribution. You've got other people doing those parts because you need him to hit those big ones. Yeah. And then there is one of my favourite voices is Sung Min. Again, he has a tone there's something in his voice that I just oh. I cannot tell you why please if you can like yeah. if you can like scientifically a, know what. a musical or technical because <laughs> yeah. we're, we're not I can just tell you what I, I think but if you know there is a reason why his voice sounds it sounds different. like it's vibrating in a way do you know what I mean yes I I can always feel yeah and like I said, I always know it's him. But not, I, I don't. I mean, come on, look at this, all the songs we listen to. But I always know when it's him. Yeah. Not because I've got a wonderful ear and I can tell you who's singing. That there's something else that comes through. Very different. Whether it's emotion that actually travels out with those mm. notes, or like you said, it's physical like yeah. with the vibrations it's of something. his some, there is I oh, help me although what then I find frustrating or disappointing is that I watch this I listen and I'm like this is what I want from a Sung Min solo I want the belting I want the power that he does have which maybe doesn't suit Stray Kid's style of music yeah but I know he has it and I want to hear it more because as soon as he's going like I said my goosebumps as soon as he starts singing in this yeah well they did an amazing job of all together mixing it because you felt like no one outshone anybody else no they made sure everyone got a chance to have a belt everyone had a softer part there was different combinations and I really like the staging of it yeah. because like as you could see all three and how they would turn yeah. or look away and you got them to break off in the pairs and it just was so mm. simple you didn't need it to be yeah. like it could have stayed in black and white yeah 
I'd love to see the behind the scenes of them putting it together just because you think you've got three professionals here that don't normally work together they're doing a vocal piece together and it's not like they would have had months to prepare it you know I don't know how long they would have had with Kingdom to do that but they wouldn't have had a long period of time no and also they'd have been working out what each other's range is yeah Right, what notes can you do? And then harmonising to yeah. say, just because you can both technically hit a note doesn't mean your harmony is going to sound yeah. well, it's good together. Um, and just to, because it probably will be a lot of them sitting around trying different bits yeah. and just hearing like such raw vocals of them probably just sat yeah. in a room singing, oh my God, I'm so <laughs> But, and I'm so glad you said that there's another performance of yeah. it, because I was watching it thinking, their bandmates, they don't often get to sit yeah. and watch each other. Their, I'm going to say loved ones, because yeah, they are they loved are. ones, perform like that and just actually get to take them in. Yeah. And I think that's going to, like, how beautiful. Yeah, and especially because watching it now, I know, obviously we know Stray Kids, I know ATs and the members better. So, seeing their reactions to each other, especially when you've got to consider that Jong Ho is the baby of ATs. And I think what hit me most with Stray Kids was IN. Because Sung Min is usually his go-to person I think to be savage to yeah but you'll see how he looks when they're about to start singing and it, it's not what I expected oh <laughs> because I can it, it's gonna feel nervous because you're gonna want to be there with them it feels yeah <laughs> oh I'm so excited See what I mean? His face. Oh, I, I missed it. I was reading subs. Go back if you want. Yeah, sorry, I was reading. I was... Oh! So he looks desperately nervous for him. Yes. That's the judges. Oh, so much yet they're still Oh. 
Oh. oh, he's taking it all with them. <laughs> That's such a reassuring look, wasn't it? Like, it is almost yeah. like he's conducting them a little bit. Oh, it's so. Do you mean that look basically just said, like, yeah, nice one? <laughs> I end is like this all the way through, like hugging himself. It's Taeyang from SF9, I know him now. Proud oh. dad! <laughs> We're gonna see them. Oh, we are. <laughs> are you crying because of stray kids watching so yeah, many? <laughs> all of them. Oh, um, sorry. Um, it was how emotional, like, yeah, stray kids, were there, <laughs> but all, like everybody watching, and then. It's when they said, um, he's helping them, like, he's yeah. there. And then you, then, actually, when you look at it, you see it. Yeah. And that's such a beautiful thing <laughs> for, like, people always say, idol groups don't get on, like, the fandoms don't get on, but they are just a group yeah. of people loving what they do and yeah. supporting one another, and that's why I'm that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to see Kingdom to see these artists get yeah. along and just the reassuring smile you didn't pick up on the first one but as soon as he said it like you see it yeah and I wonder if he is like helping them to show the winds are coming and that must have meant so much to them just to have that yeah that's I mean they were both so young still and let's not forget that Sung Min wasn't even supposed to be the main vocalist for Stray Kids yeah um again i think we're always drawn to the stray kids reactions being that we know them better we just love them so much yeah it hits yeah it, it hits because i can i can read their faces a lot yeah. more easily but still with the others you could just yeah. see this like awe awestruck yeah. like even when it wasn't like anyone from the See, I feel like you could see the different dynamics because B2B, the two guys there, 
there was a bit of a like enjoying it just being like oh that's our guy we know he does this every yeah. day he's awesome they're like we know yeah. that he'll do Whereas it we're here 80s we're just like i'm so proud of him um and then stray kids <laughs> they're just emotional little yeah. bunnies aren't they but see i am was like that the whole time like <gasps> like he you could say he looked worried like i i have he has to do well you know i really want it to go well for him and like considering that he's normally your punching bag <laughs> Like you want it must yeah. be such a weird thing if you want to be there with yeah because normally you're with them and so and then, you're powerless in this one and even for those three on stage yeah they were isolated still even though they weren't yeah. on stage on their own they must all be used to having people around them yeah. all the time I asked you if I was gonna get emotional and you're like no no cry. it's beautiful not emotional well um I think the moment that I thought you went was with Han early on when he said he had goosebumps because he was like, "Oh, something." It's his eyes. I don't. I didn't hear what he said. It was his eyes. It was this like desperate love. Yeah. It was just you could feel it oozing. Yeah. From so, I mean, him. you got those from Han. You got. I am just done like this the whole time. Felix's eyes were gone because he's the emotion. Yeah. He's like me out of the group. Chang being had one of these excited little <laughs> moments. Yeah, he's like, that's my guy. And I feel it, like we've so, with uh, sorry Chang being. It's almost like I have emotion. And I don't know what to do with it. It's just, and Chan, absolute proud dad. Yeah, it's like Chan is the guy that if you'd have let him, he would have been sat at the front of that stage with his own with his phone out and recording him. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah he's like he won't he probably had all, all the emotions all of the worry but yeah just he was there to just just be there yeah but it's just all of them to watch them be so amazed by people they're hissing all the time yeah it just goes to show that the shock and like surprise and the awe that we feel yeah it's still a regular thing for them as well you don't you don't you lose don't, that. Just yeah, you don't desensitise yeah. to it. It's still just as amazing. It's, so that was our reaction, Erin's first time reaction, to uh, Mayfly performing Love Poem on Kingdom. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.